That's the fun. This is GF Legible from GamerFusion.com. What is going on, guys? Today, I am super excited to talk about the lore of Rise of the Iron. So, if you guys know, if you haven't been keeping up with Destiny stuff, there is a new DLC coming out called Rise of the Iron. It hasn't been officially confirmed by Bungie or Activision, but it has been confirmed by Kotaku, a few other sources, in regards to this being the new expansion coming to Destiny DLC. So I am excited, I bet you're excited, but let's find out what are we expecting out of this expansion? What can we find out based on the lore? And that's what we're going to be talking about on today's video. Seeing how the name of this DLC is called the rise of the iron uh we're gonna go be talking about a few things we're gonna be talking about who the iron lords were how was the iron banner formed and what was the purpose of the iron banner so first and foremost the complete purpose of the iron banner was to train uh you know guardians uh, to forge them and make them strong and tough and ready for battle to be able to fight back the darkness as you recall um how how did they become famous or like what you know where did this come from well a few things there was a battle called the battle of six fronts one of the most epic battles within the destiny lore and definitely one of the battles i wish and hope we are able to replay sometime soon even though this is in the past i don't think that uh, you know we're going to be going into the past but let me tell you guys a little bit about this this battle so right you know right when the traveler went ahead and he took his outpost or he set up he settled on the top of the tower if you guys know right now when we go to the tower we're able to see the the speaker and the speaker goes over there uh where the speaker's at the traveler's over there and he kind of overlooks the last city now be right when he settled up there right before you know before he was like that was his main home like that was just like the first time he settled there the fallen decided to attack the city so you know it, it, things things were tough you know they were trying to hold down uh, the four, the fallen were kind of advancing at them, coming strong, and uh, trying to take him out. There was a forge, so there was a total of nine. Yes, guys, nine iron lords took the fight upon themselves to actually hold down the fallen from actually attacking the last city. And this was a massive attack that was fought for a couple days, and they were able to hold down the, the city. But who were these nine lords that decided to take it upon themselves to actually hold back the attack from the fallen from the last city? Well, I'm pretty sure you guys know all of them, and this would be why. Because if you guys ever played Iron Banner Year 1, and you got all the Year 1 weapons, you will know their names because their the weapons are the names of the nine lords that fought together. Let's take a look at who they are. We have Timbers, which is part of the Timber slash hand cannon. We have Gillians, which is part of the Gillian device scout rifle. We have Silver's Wrath, which is part of the auto rifle. Scory's Revenge, which is the pulse rifle. We have Ephrodite, which is Ephrodite spear for the sniper rifle. We have Prune's Fire, which is part of the Fusion Rifle. We have Fell Winters, which is part of uh, the Fell Winters Light Shotgun. We have Jolder's Hammer, which is the Machine Gun. And last but not least, we have Radagast Fury. A total of nine Guardians, nine Iron Banner Lords, who were formed to hold back the city. Not hold back the city, but hold the Fallen from attacking the city. Now, these three were divided into three different fire teams they were divided into a hunter titan and warlock hunter titan and warlock and hunter titan and warlock so gillian slimmer and fell uh fell winters were part of one fire team perun radagast and scory were part of one fire team and ephrodite jolder and timmer were part of one fire team these three fire teams hold held down the fort to push away the fallen so very very interesting stuff but before all of this happened they had different types of names. They were called the Iron Wolves. And this is why it kind of the picture now makes sense because we see some wolves on the picture. Uh, you know, we see um, Lord Selden just holding the axe. And it's kind of interesting to note because if you guys notice the cloaks, the bond, and also the mark from the Hunter, Titan, and Warlock, which are part of the, uh, the you know, the Iron Banner DLC. If you read these in order, you'll notice that the wolves are mentioned here. It says, with the wolves, uh, wolves wood cloak, it says, in our darkest hours, nine iron wolves emerge from the ruins. If you notice, the bond reads, under a red dawn, the iron wolves gather beneath the iron wood. And the mark reads, and beneath its branches, the Iron Wolves forged an unbreakable oath. So this this tells me that before they were called uh, the Iron Banner, or before the Iron Banner was formed, these nine Iron Wolves 
sat together under a tree and formed uh, the Iron Banner. And that is why we see a lot of reference to when, uh, you know, to Destiny as the Iron Banner as having wolves under a tree or there being a tree and also having wolves. So very interesting story and a lot of ways you could actually go and, uh, you know, go through the different types of lore and find out connections on what would make the story awesome. So apart from that, we also had a few different things now. The, what happened is during the during the you know while they were together while they formed the Iron Man there was kind of like a little bit of treason or, or, or fight between them and that caused the Iron Banner to kind of uh, separate and um, after that fight then the Vanguard was formed and uh, you know that's more interesting stuff into the into the lore so and that was pretty much the end of the Iron Banner as as per se but you know a lot of people said that the Iron Banner hasn't ended because we still see some Iron Banner Lords within the new weapons that are part of the Iron Banner. And of course, we still have Lord Selden, which, uh, you know, participated in the infamous and most famous Battle of the Twilight Gap, which is one I wish we could replay. Uh, hopefully, one of these days, we're able to actually have that battle and, uh, you know, play it within an expansion. But Lord Selden did the, the fight of the Twilight Gap, so we know there was more epic battles on, along the way that Guardians were fighting, and of course we see different names within the weapons uh, for the Iron Banner, so it tells us that there's still more Iron Banner Lords or Iron Banner Fighters uh, out there and ready to go ahead. So, as far as the DLC, it's called Rise of the Iron, um, so I don't, we, we don't know if it's, it's us rising, or we don't know it's a different, uh, you know, a different set of, uh, of Iron Wolves that are rising, or we don't know if it's going to bring to go to the past, but I want to know from you guys, what do you think? Are we going to the past? Are we going to the future? Are we going to be the Iron Lords? Uh, are we going to be holding up the fight? And, uh, you know, there's going to be an epic fight. Someone's going to overtake the city, and we're going to have to hold it back. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think, though. But just for a train of thought, I do want to mention a few others that were not meant, that are not part of the, you know, per se, the Iron Banner or the Group of Nine. But they were also very, very, very well known guardians uh, when this fight happened. Of course, we have Saint Fourteen, which is the reason why we have a, a helmet. He was very famous because he wanted to have a counter attack for when the Fallen came. So he wanted the Fallen to attack us as defendant and also go ahead and have us fight fight them in their own land. And he had a lot of grief, grief between uh, different opinions of different guardians. And of course, I can't forget our good buddy uh, uh, Osiris, which is why we do trials of osiris and honor him is because when this happened he had some weird mechanism and i think that he's going to play a big part of one of the big expansions in destiny 2 uh probably a raid is because he had a, an ability to like to kind of like time travel he was able to be in different places at, at like at once in a split second and a lot of people thought he used vex technology to actually do this so a lot of interesting lore let me know if you guys want me to continue to do these lore videos um i'll be more than happy to but that is pretty much what we have in regards to the Iron, uh, you know, in regards to the new expansion coming out, the Rise of Iron. Uh, pretty much that is what we're looking at. Either we're going to be in the past or we're going to be fighting on our, our own battle. But let me know what do you guys think. Either way, I am super excited and can't wait to see my see what Destiny has in store for us and get my hands and actually play Rise of the Iron. Don't forget, guys, for all things Destiny. Head over to GamerFusion.com where we empower your gaming.